Madison. It might, of course, be Tandi Hosanna that are in the tree now. It could be causing them to be a little bit on edge, but I don't see anything. It would be amazing though if Shadow did arrive. To have the three of them would be quite interesting. I don't know. Right here. Right here? Yeah. Oh, there is a leopard right here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me reposition for you, Seb. You're going to have a lot easier if I reposition. So, the squirrel was alarm calling, but I don't know if that's Shadow. Uh, it could be Tundi. It looks like Tundi to me from the top, but of course that could be completely wrong. But I don't think Tundi and Shadow have met up since they become they kind of separated and went on their own ways. I don't know if there's a recorded sighting of them doing that. So let's see if we get in here, Seb. It's going to be a bit of foliage in the way, but oh, look at that light. Isn't that magnificent? That is unbelievable. Beautiful. There is something about cats drinking in light like this that is just phenomenally good. I don't know why. I always just like seeing them when they drink in this orange orange light it is beautiful you can see i'm sure she's going to be very thirsty after sitting in the sun all day long but that is as good as it gets i would say you can see so we were talking earlier about how frequently they would drink water well the answer to that is very frequently particularly on a hot day like today so I'm not surprised that she's here um, it's maybe why Hosanna actually started to move earlier is because he heard the squirrels alarm calling and Tundi moving in this direction to drink water so it could be why he came out this way and I wouldn't be surprised if he actually comes to investigate what's happening but she couldn't have chosen a better spot to drink that light is ridiculously good. Seb doesn't get much better than that, does it? Now she's just... So Noel, you're wondering why leopards have light underneath their eyes and cheetahs have dark underneath their eyes well no the reason for that is because cheetah activity generally is more during the day so that darker pattern underneath the eye just helps to reduce the glare of the light of the sun and in the grass whereas the leopards are active more at night and so a lighter coloration will just help to bring light into the eye and to wait it is shadow it's shadow look at that so we've got the third one. <laughs> That's amazing, Seb. <laughs> uh, let me just let the guys know. That's ridiculous. Hello, Shadow. What are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, Shadow is pushing mighty at Treehouse Dam if anyone's interested. Um, that's crazy. What are the chances of having Shadow, Tandi, and Hosanna within this little bit? That's crazy. Hello, Shadow. <laughs> what a way to come back to work. Three leopards in one afternoon is ridiculous. That is about as good as it gets. Now, I'm just going to try and reverse. There she goes. She's walking off. I was thinking when she was drinking there for a second that she didn't look quite as full-bellied as what Tundi did earlier. But it's most definitely Shadow. And I'm so happy to see her from this pure point of view that she's walking so much better than the last time I saw her. The last time I saw her, that foot was being held up. She was not even moving at all. It was really didn't look good. But now she's basically got her foot moving. She's putting weight on it. That is fantastic news. So I'm super happy to see that she's walking the way that she is. That is great, great news. Well done, Shadow. And apparently she's had a few kills lately, which is fantastic. So it really is the most epic thing. Now I wonder where her cub is. Hopefully her cub is somewhere around as well. I wonder if she's going to pick up the scent maybe of Tandi or Hosanna and actually go towards them. Wouldn't that be quite something to see the two sisters come together? Like I say, I would love to know when the last time the two sisters were seen together in this particular, well, it, 
in ever because I don't know of a sighting of the two sisters together since they were with Karula as cubs. So that could have been now, what, what, seven years ago since that happened. So it will be really interesting to see the interaction between these two. For at this stage, she's not really going in the direction of Tandi or Hosanna. She's kind of moving her way actually the opposite direction. But interesting nonetheless that she's so close. And I feel like there is going to be a meeting of the sisters at some point soon but I'm so happy that she's not walking as badly as she was last time she really is walking a lot better now that's great news sure David you're wondering if Tundi is a threat to Shadow's Cub well theoretically yes so once they become separated like this and they no longer are sort of cub mates and they become adult females they no longer want anything to do with one another they'll actually become competition for area and territory and they will then fight with one another and cubs will be a part of that so it does happen that they will fight with the cubs and they will go after one another so it, it is something that we will see if Tandi does see the cub she might be aggressive towards it's exactly like she was with Shongile where are you going now there's a beautiful termite mound coming up and that termite mound i've always wanted to see a leopard on top of it so i wonder if today is the day that we're going to see shadow going up onto the termite mound it's just in front of us that big tree that you see over there the termite mound is at the base of that so i'm hoping that's where she's going to head just going to have to be careful on the left just yep. Ali, you want to know if I saw Shadow as a cub? Unfortunately not, Ali. When I first got here, Tandi and Shadow were about three and a half years old. So they had just gone independent. In fact, within the first five months of me being here, Tandi had her first litter of cubs. So I got to see Tandi's first litter when there were still actually two of them. And then unfortunately she lost the one. And then she had Wabayiza who was eventually then killed by the Styx Pride. So I didn't get to see them as cubs, unfortunately. But I did see them when they were still much younger individuals than what they are now. But how cool is this? What a way to come back to work. Three leopards, all of the Karula lineage as well. What a, what a wonderful day. And of course, we are completely forgetting about the lions. The whole Inkahuma pride is also not very far from here either. They're on Weaver's Nest, so it's not a big distance from where we are now. <sighs> What are the chances, Seb? 